Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kirsten Perrin and I'm the Be Connected Officer at the Albany Public Library. What is Be Connected, I hear you ask? Well, Be Connected is an Australian government initiative committed to increasing the confidence, the skills and the online safety of older Australians. So as a network partner, um, we want our community members um, to feel empowered to use the internet uh, and to use digital technology and to be confident in doing so. So that's why I'm here today. I'm going to show you uh, the Be Connected website, uh, what's on there and how to navigate it. So what I am going to do is share my screen with you. Um, just give me a moment. So as you can see, I'm sharing my screen with you now and I am, forgive me, I've lost my little, <laughs> I lost my little doobie to, there we go, spotlight my screen. So uh, I'm, as you can see, I'm in the, uh, address bar where the mouse is and I'm going to type in the website which is www.beconnected.esafety.gov.au and it brings it straight up. So along the top here you can see we're currently on the home page and we also have a topic library find local help, help others and network partners. And up in the right hand corner, we have sign in and sign up. So the two things that we are going to concentrate on today are the topic library and signing in or signing up. And just on this home page, if I scroll down, you can see that some of those uh, subjects that are across the top are repeated as quick links and there's also a video called what is be connected now this i won't play this video today in this session but if you'd like to go to the website and um, watch that video for yourself it is a great explanation of how be connected um, works and how it can help older people in our community a little further down on the page uh, with be connected have included what's new and what's coming soon as you can see. And then a little bit further down, we have a section called Get More Involved. Now this is where I want to show you the free presentations. Over here on the left, if I click on Book Today, it brings up free online presentations. So these are webinars, they're video sessions that are interactive and they're presented uh, live. Um, so you can ask questions um, or type questions while the webinar is happening. You can see there the presentation topics uh, cover a wide range of um, issues. So can you spot a scam, shopping and banking, staying safe online, the COVID-19 edition, staying safe on Facebook, protect against scams, connecting to others, data and public Wi-Fi, and selling safely online. It gives you some tips here on how to get started if you haven't watched a webinar before. <clears throat> and each of these subjects has their own time and date. So if you're interested in any of these sessions, you'll need to register. If I scroll down a little bit further to the next one, which is on the 4th of May at 11 a.m. Now just remember these are times are in Eastern Standard Time. So for Western Australia, that would be a 9 a.m. start. So 9 until 10 a.m. And you can, if you click on the register now button, you'll just enter a few details in there and you'd register for that webinar. The other thing is if you can't make that session, then you could print the summary sheet or download the summary sheet that covers up on this subject. So just here, you'll see it says data and public Wi-Fi summary sheet. If I click on English, it's going to download it for me. And there we go, it's downloaded uh, that information. So you can still um, learn about uh, data and public Wi-Fi, even though you can't make the webinar. And what is it? We've got four pages, I believe. So there, that's that. If I close that now, 
just going to scroll back to the top and I'm going to take you to the topic library. Just ignore the email address there. So there's two ways that you can use the topic library. As you can see at the top, it, it says, tell us a little about yourself and we'll create a learning plan just for you. If I click on start your learning plan, they're going to, it's set up to ask you a few uh, questions and then can direct you to the topics that, you, that might benefit you the most. So by clicking let's begin, it takes me to what would you like to look at today? So today I would like to connect with my family and friends. So I click the one in the middle and I'm going to answer this question about my interests. So I'm interested in video calling. And then the last question is there's a few different ways that you can make video calls. And as you can see what you need to, to make a video call, Skype, FaceTime and WhatsApp. So I'm going to click on Skype and it takes me to that session. But if I go back to the topic library again, and I don't want to do those questions for the learning plan, you can see that each of the subjects are grouped together. So in the essential section, the absolute basics has five different subjects. What is a computer? What is a laptop? What is a tablet? What is a smartphone? What is the internet? So if you clicked on explore, you would start at the start, which is what is a computer. And as you can see, there's lots of different sections there. More online skills, connecting to others, all about data, etc. I'm just going to scroll back to the top. So the other way that you can look at the list of subjects of available is to scroll to the very bottom of this of the screen or any screen on the website actually and in the bottom right hand corner if you can see where my mouse is is the site map if you click on the site map it provides you with the full list of every short course that's available on be connected and as you can see there's lots um, so just as a quick example of what one of these looks like, if I click on what is data, it gives you a quick explanation of how it's going to start and a video, short video to start with. And then each session has a start now button next to it. So you can see number one is, so what is data? It should take you about six minutes to complete this and you would click on start now and work your way through. So if I click on start now, explains what's coming up in the session and it talks about the different components of what makes up data. So the internet, data delivery, keeping count of data, How is data measured? How home data is measured? How mobile data is measured? And an e-safety tip. So as you can see, there was, it, that was just a section of reading and now we're at the end of the what is data activity. So we could return to the session and do the second one, how do I buy data? And off you would go. So that's just a quick example of how the subjects work on Be Connected. I'm just going to go to the home screen. So as I mentioned at the start, there's also the option to sign in or sign up. So if I click on there and it's your first time, we'll create a new account, which is down here. Now this is where I should say, you don't have to sign up if you want to use Be Connected. It is free and it is for anyone to be able to access and learn from. Um, but if you do wish to sign up, it is a free um, service. Signing up gives you the benefits of tracking your learning um, 
providing short quizzes to complete and also it gives you access to extra materials such as a free Ancestry ebook. It is easy to fill out, it just takes your first name, your last name, the name of the support centre for in this circumstance would be the City of Albany, your email address and a password that you create. That password must have seven characters, at least one digit and one uppercase letter. You tick the uh, or consent to receive emails from Be Connected if you wish, but you must agree to the terms and conditions of the Be Connected site. And then you can click set sign up for free and you're signed up. So each time you come to the Be Connected site, if you're signed in, you can track what you've learned and, um, and move up through the sessions. Going back to the homepage. So we've, today we've covered off how to get to be connected, how to sign up, how to access the topics um, via the topic library or the sitemap and the benefits to registering. So thank you for joining me today in this short session. Uh, I hope that it, it has been helpful. Um, Please join us next week for a Be Connected session on connecting to others. So we'll be covering uh, getting set up for video calling, Skype, WhatsApp and FaceTime. I'm just going to come back and say thank you. See ya.